Hey, what's up guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the New Jersey Transit Bombardier Multi-Level Coach. And I have three types of cars here. A cab car, the standard trailer car, and the trailer with a bathroom. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, that is actually the main varieties. They call it a restroom, but, you know, I just call it bathroom. Uh, for this version, I actually updated from an older model. I wanted to do this for a very long time, but, you know, today I just, like, started finishing it up, uh, making it all uh, complete and accurate, because this right over here is the old model, and there's a lot of problems with this model. Uh, one major problem was that uh, back then when I was making these trains in Minecraft, I had a problem with, the, like, the metallic surfaces. I would use diorite, which is... It's almost like an off-white, and that's because, like, in real life, sometimes, you know, the metal, it shines, so it kind of looks brighter, so uh, that's why I use diorite, but now I know, you know, it's it should be a polished anisite. We have a lot of, actually, new features with this, like the FRA stripes, which I didn't actually add in my old one. You know, we're using these more accurate doors, which, in the old one, I was using iron doors, which is more functional, but it's not exactly realistic. Also, you see the stripe here on the side. Got a nice um, design there, but that one right there is too tall, so this one's thinner and more accurate. Here's the truck designs. Very cool. And then we hear what looks like in the front of the cab car. And this is what you can use to, you know, drive it. The train put this on the end of the train and the other side's going to be like a locomotive. Currently, I don't have a locomotive tutorial to go along with this, so that'll be coming in the future, but I can't guarantee it uh, anytime soon. But maybe one day I'll, I'll like make a new version of this build right here, like the ALP 45 DP. You know, this is actually a Bombardi multi-level coach, I believe, the Bombardi multi-level 2. And in the future, there might be a 3. Uh, but this is different from the Bombardi bi-level, which is actually another type of bi-level commuter car. And it's different from that one, since these ones have uh, doors for high platforms in addition to low platforms. And see on the ends right over here. So they have like these two doors here, so I guess you can differentiate between the different stations. And a way to tell between the different sides, just in case if you think both sides look the same, an easy way to tell is that this side has a missing window here instead it's covered up. I think this one might be a bathroom in the cab car. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this is like a standard uh, trailer. This one has also, it's missing this window here instead it's like a little covered up area. While the bathroom car, this one's totally like two blocks wide covered up like that. So you can see um, the differences, I guess. That little patch there versus this one. Other than that, uh, these two um, passenger cars are pretty much the same. And the cab car is going to be the most different of the three, so... And I've actually gotten the chance to ride this in real life when I went rail fanning uh, to Boundbrook. I do have that video on the channel just in case you want to go check it out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'll be building, first off, this standard car. And then you can modify it if you do want to make the restroom car or, you know, the cab car. All right, to get started, we're going to take out a black concrete, a polished blackstone brick block, a gray concrete, a dark oak uh, slab and fence gate and trap door. So first off, we'll place down um, this black concrete two blocks above the tracks like this. And then a dark oak slab that's going to be right in the front of it. That's the coupler. And then behind this, we'll add in a gray concrete. We'll make it um, two blocks long. And then we'll add in five polished black stone brick. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Then we'll make this part, you know, two blocks wide, as well as the gray concrete, you know, two blocks wide and wrap it around the edge, like so. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate underneath this slab. And then two blocks wide polish, I mean, dark oak trap doors like that. Alright, so now let's uh, make this midsection. So, um, stick out gray concrete. And then we're going to make it so it's two blocks wide like this. And then we'll add in a polish and a site block like that. 
And I'm wondering if I should even include the floor for this because you can't really see the floor. So I'm just going to make, you know, the outside part. So we'll take out a poly polish and a site. I'm going to make it 23 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Like that. And then um, we'll add in uh, pretty much everything that we did in the front. And uh, we will build it on the other side. Just uh, it starts right over here where we have the gray concrete, you know, two blocks wide, I think. Like that. And it should be looking like this. So this is going to be the whole car. I believe it's 39 blocks long, excluding the couplers. So, and I'm just doing this so that you have a basic uh, design, like how it should look like, how long it is. All right, so we'll just be working on this end here. So we'll take out um, Paula, take out gray terracotta, uh, polished black stone brick stairs, as well as a spruce uh, fence gate, and I guess a hopper. So first off, we'll add in gray terracotta on the edges of this underneath. Uh, polished black stone bricks. Then on the inside we'll add in dark oak fence gates uh, for the axles of the wheels and then uh, three blocks wide of this polished black stone brick slab. Then here in the middle we'll add in polished black stone brick stairs and then upside down stairs on the front and the back of this. And a slab here in the middle. We'll add hoppers, sides of the wheels. And then this spruce fence gate that will be opened up uh, towards the slab, it's going to be towards like inside the middle, I guess. And then we'll add in um, this dark oak fence gate, and that should be opened up, you know, the other direction, uh, just like that. Then above, we'll add this um, polish and side stairs upside down here, skip a block upside down, and that's going to be back to back. And then we'll add smooth quartz slab here, and then a polish and site uh, slab here. Dangling down, slab here, upside down, polished andesite stairs, then two blocks wide, polished andesite slabs, and we're going to replace this midsection with a uh, smooth quartz instead. Then on the edge here, we'll add in polished andesite block, four blocks tall, so one, two, three, four. And then polished andesite slab on top. Then we're going to add in um, stone brick stairs. And then a polished andesite slab here in the middle, just like that. Then we'll add in polished andesite block, just two blocks wide here. Polished andesite stairs facing the edge. And then we'll add in um, four more of these stairs that are going to be facing outwards. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to skip a block and add in polished andesite block. And the stairs is going to be cornered just like that. Then we'll add in a black glass block. That's going to be two blocks wide. And then polish it in a site. And then I guess we'll leave that alone for now. We'll get back to it. So then we'll go back over here and we'll add in polish in a site slime. Just uh, two blocks wide like this. And then two blocks long polished black stone brick slabs. And then polish and a site slash is going to make this go all line up all the way to that edge. Just like that. And the inside is going to be a uh, black concrete. So fill this in. Like that. All right. So next up on top, we'll add in a light gray carpet. You know, four blocks wide like that. Let's go down here. We'll add in polish and a site block you know, four blocks long, like that. And then a polish andesite slab here. And then three polish andesite blocks. And then polish andesite block on the inside. And then polish andesite slab here. And then two blocks tall of black concrete. Polish andesite block underneath it. And then we'll add in this nether brick wall with an andesite wall underneath it 
gonna be a doorway, and then a two by two of polished andesite, and then an L shape polished andesite, and then we'll add polished andesite here, two blocks wide, black glass, and then polished andesite block inside here, two blocks tall, black concrete, and then polish I mean, regular andesite wall at the bottom here, and then another brick wall here. Then we'll add in polished andesite stairs facing towards the middle like that and then polish and say block here then black concrete inside the window and then polish and a site slab three blocks wide like that okay so over here we'll add in a black glass inside and then a black concrete and then over on the edge here we'll add in you know three blocks tall polish and a site blocks and then next we'll add in and a say wall here, uh, another brick wall. Side will add in three blocks tall, polished black stone brick walls. And behind will add in a polished and site block. And uh, black concrete. Then a polish uh, and a site stairs upside down like that. Then we'll add in polished black stone brick slime, just one here and another one at the top. And then a gray carpet on top of the slab here. Then we'll go down here at the bottom and we'll add in a polish black stone slab there. And then a dark oak fence gate, open that up. Another dark oak fence gate inside. And then on top here we'll add in a black stone button right to the front of that stairs. Then we'll also add in this redstone torch right over here in the top corner. And then we'll go here to the side, we'll add in a birch button here. Two blocks wide, black stone buttons. Um, a black stone button above the window here, and um, I guess a stone button over here. Then we'll add a spruce button underneath the window. A dark oak button up here. A birch button underneath it. And then a stone button right down there. Let's go down over here, and we'll add in a smooth quartz slab here, two blocks wide. Uh, Polish andesite slab and then smooth quartz slab again like that. Alright, so next we're going to copy everything that we did on this side. And we're going to build it on the other side right over here. Alright, so once we have both ends, now we just have to connect them together. So pretty much, uh, let's do first the top row. So, you know, up where the windows are and the pillars, that's going to be pretty much, you know, same design just all the way across just making more windows all right so it should be looking like this as for the stripe below uh you can tell here in the middle that's going to be you know three blocks wide polish in a slight slab but for the rest of it it's just going to be the same just keep on doing it you know i guess every three blocks or something like that move quartz so it should be looking like this now you know it's coming together quite nicely and we can also add in a dark oak trap door on the side the bottom corner and we'll close that up like so on both sides like this very cool so far all right so after we're done with that um we can pretty much copy everything we did on this side and then build the other half all right so once we have both halves it should be looking like this then we'll go over here add in a brick slab there for the American flag. The other side will just fill that hole in with polish and site. Go on this side. And I think we'll just do the same thing. Just add in a brick slab there. Then polish and site block for the other end. Um, like that. And then we'll go back onto this side and we'll delete this stone button there. And we'll add in this warp button right over here. And then we're gonna add in, you know, the stripe. So inside there's going to be um, light gray wool and then a blue wool and the other side's going to be an orange wool. Let me grab that really quick. And on the other side it's going to be a light gray wool and then an orange wool. And we will do that for the other side, you know, over here. Light gray wool, orange wool. Then light gray wool here, and then blue wool. 
Okay. So for this, it's going to be the orange is six, uh, the magenta is nine, and then the blue is six. So six, nine, six. So let's do that. So let's see here orange, concrete, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the other side, six blue concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we could just do that. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And the middle part's just gonna be magenta concrete. Fill in the rest all the way across, and that should be a nine, I believe, right? Pretty long like that. All right, now we're to go to this side here, and we delete this window, just delete that. Add in a polish and a slate block, and then a stone block with a spruce button underneath, and that's how you tell between the two sides, because this window is missing. This side has all the windows cross. And we are also going to add this warp button right here to side the window. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for um, the basic design for the standard trailer. Now I'm gonna actually uh, make a copy of this and show you how to make it with the bathroom. And at the end of the video, I'll make another copy of this and we can make the cab car uh, for the final car. And the difference between the standard trailer and the one with the bathroom, it's really not that much. Uh, so um, yeah, let me actually get it again here. So we have this car here and pretty much you'll have to modify it. So this part is two blocks wide of stone and then add this two blocks wide spruce buttons like that. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty much it to make, you know, the bathroom car. It's not really that different. And now I'm going to show you how to make uh, the cab car. So let me see. Um, we have a copy right over here. Better put back this warp button. All right, so once we have this car here, uh, we're gonna delete these redstone torches at the top, and we'll delete this polish in sight from the sides, and we'll add in an iron trap door. And we're gonna actually, you know, probably you can't do that unless you have like a mod. So a way you can do this, and a way to add detail is this lever here. So that should pull it down. Yeah, that should like pull it down so it opens up like that. And that acts as a windshield wiper as well. All right, and then we're gonna uh, rotate these dark oak fence gates so that they face uh, the other direction. And we're also going to uh, change this into like a plow down below. So, you know, delete these three blocks wide trap doors. Instead, we'll add in three blocks wide of polished blackstone stairs. Very cool. And then we'll delete this trap door here and the block behind it. Instead, we're gonna add in a polished blackstone slab like that. Very cool. And then on the inside of this, there's going to be polish. Actually, we have to delete this first. So delete this two by two here and delete those two blocks wide as well inside. And we'll add in two blocks wide polished diorite uh, blocks like that. And then um, an iron trap door we're going to make an l shape like this and then add in a dark oak fence gate here open up towards the wheel and then we'll add in a polish and a sight slab here and then a smooth quartz slab like that all right and then a dark oak fence gate open that up towards the front and we'll do the same exact thing on this side so delete this two by two delete these two blocks wide and we'll add in polished diorite blocks and then um Dark oak fence gate here, open it up. Iron trap door, dark oak fence gate here, open it up. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slab here. And then a polished andesite slab at the very top like that. Very cool so far. All right, so then over here, we'll add in this light gray banner, just uh, two blocks tall on the sides. Just cover up that white area because that trap door is really white. And um, I really wish Mojang would add gray trapdoors that would be so useful so unlike the other cars the cab car is different because this number plate for some reason they made it white um that's also another way you can tell between the two so we're going to delete this block here add in a polish and a site block inside and then a smooth quartz slab like that and the other side would do the same thing adding in that polish and a site block and then smooth quartz slab like that 
All right, so on this side, there's actually no door, so we're gonna delete this wall, replace it with polish in a site block like that, as well as this top part here, fill that in as well, like so. And we'll delete this birch button here, and then instead we'll add in a stone block inside there for a panel. And then I guess the other side, let's see what's going on there. We'll add in a stone button right over here. And then on the roof, it's going to be three blocks wide iron trap doors like this. Delete this block here in the middle. Instead, we're going to add in this anvil. And then a birch fence gate. Open that up for some headlights. It's like that. Very cool. Alrighty. So then we'll work our way to the other side. The other side, I think it's also like missing a window here. So we'll just fill this in. About polish. And it's a block. And we'll make this two blocks wide stone. And then two blocks wide spruce buttons like that. Uh, very cool. Because I guess the cab car is also a bathroom car as well. Um, let's see if there's any other differences um, and then we'll go here in the back and you know this part is raised as well so add in polish and a site slab three blocks wide and then we'll change this full block and a slab on top so that's uh, gonna be a bit chunky compared to the other cars and yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to build the Bombardier uh, multi-level coach for New Jersey Transit now you can have your NJT trains uh, you'll have to make the locomotive for yourself because uh, mine is still in the works, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video if you do remember hit that like button down below Check out our discord and minecraft server and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye <music>